Hey everybody, welcome back to Gideon Stuff. Today we have a very special guest. We've got Sharp and Blade all the way from Canada. Hello. <laughs> uh, this is pretty cool. The first YouTube collaboration I've ever done, at least. Yeah. Same here. So, awesome crossover event. Yeah. <laughs> so today we're going to be looking at some Savivi knives that were unveiled at SHOT Show and elsewhere because they're just always unveiling new models. So we've got a bunch here. <laughs> and we already looked at we uh, their new releases, and that's over on Sharpened Blades channel. So yeah. I'll leave a link down below. Okay, let's start this off. Oh boy. <laughs> Stay with me. <laughs> oh, the Orthrus. Is that what it's called? I didn't I never knew what it was called. I thought it yeah, was called the, the Orthrus. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> It's a folding fixed blade. Um, yeah. I, I don't even know where to go with this one. I mean, I'm not a tactical guy. No. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know if any actual tactical guys would want this. <laughs> no one I has, I've talked to. I mean, real world tactical and Call of Duty was the guy that designed this. And yeah. I mean, maybe he knows what he's talking about more than I do. But... <laughs> And yeah. when you make a folding fixed blade, that kind of gets rid of the best part of a fixed blade, right? Yeah, the fixed part. <laughs> the fixed part. <laughs> but, I mean, the knife itself, um, it's like a dagger, and then you push this little button here, and it, like, folds over into, into a karambit. Yeah. I, I don't get it. No. I, I don't get it. It doesn't even um, really look like a karambit. Either. No, it doesn't. It's just... It just looks like you broke your fixed blade. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Well, I mean, look at the serrations. It already looks like someone took a bite out of your knife. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I I don't see myself ever getting one of these on the channel. Ever. No. But... Well, so you could. It would, I, it would be hilarious to watch you <laughs> catch this knife. <laughs> I mean... I just look at this. I don't just don't even know what I would even do with it. You know, I'd make another Barney and attack him. But other than that, I don't know. Well, that's what it's for. <laughs> that's what it's for. I guess that's the only way to test it. I don't know. It just that that just does not bring me any joy. Only confusion and agony. Well, look at it this way: if they came out with a folding knife that was fixed that didn't fold, do you think people would actually want that? I mean, <laughs> so like a triad lock? <laughs> <laughs> Copyright infringement. I don't know. Honestly, like if you have a folding knife that you can like put a pin in there and make it a fixed blade, it's still a gimmick, but I think that's more useful than your folding, yeah. your fixed blade folding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, it's, I don't know. Well, I don't know. On uh, Knife Center's footage of this, uh, the only thing he could think of to say was that your hand is in a full grip whenever you pull it out of the sheath. That's the only <laughs> thing that he could say. <laughs> and he even said, like, I always have to try to think of something to say about a knife. <laughs> well, I, I also don't know what to say either, except no. I'm just confused. <laughs> Gosh, there's some times when people should say, I think that's a bad idea. <laughs> we should do not green light this. <laughs> Just don't. We cannot do this. Because <laughs> if you wanted a folding cram bit, you can get a folding cram bit. Yes, you can. You yeah. can. <laughs> but gosh. I, I don't get it. We're moving on. We're yeah. moving on. <laughs> so we have another like self-defense fixed blade. This one's from... Uh, oh, stop hell. Yeah. The art. I don't mind this one. I don't mind it either. Again, it's just cool. kind of like not my world. Yeah, I would never buy it, but I can, like, it's more useful than a folding fixed blade. It, it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, your little last minute shank, I guess. <laughs> it's not what I do with my knives, but I, maybe someone wants this. Yeah. I don't know. Really 
uh, digging spinners out of your finger. Yeah, I mean, that would be, although I have, where is that knife? I don't know if I have it with me, but the spew. Yeah. The video I did on that post recently. Yeah. <laughs> but, okay, I guess, I guess I'll get it now just as a splinter digger. Yeah. That'll be, that'll, is, that, that'll is that in Nitro V, does it say? That one's D2, which I thought okay. was kind of interesting because Savivi's been kind of like moving away from D2, but... Well, they're nitro. I think it's nitro V on that folding fixed blade. Yes, it is. Which is another thing that ugh, nitro V. I, uh, you know, I have been become kind of a, a, a hater of Savivi's nitro V, and I made the whole video with the bow. Absolutely terrible. Hated it there. Awful yeah. stuff. The baby banter. I still carry this knife around. Uh, it was okay. And then on the Imperium, it was decent. Okay. But when you have such mixed, I just don't get why they would use Nitro V over their 14C or even their 10CR. Yeah. That's a better steal, in my opinion. I just, I don't like seeing Nitro V from them. No. It's just been so hit or miss. They must have heat treat issues or something with it. It must be. There's no telling. I just, you know. My experience with the bow really soured me on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, the Conspirator. A.K.A. the Bunlock Beacon. <laughs> <laughs> and Subjugator. <laughs> and the Subjugator. It's... Here, here's the thing. I would actually be interested in getting a hold of this one. Because it does look like a good knife. Yeah. Uh, I bet it's a Nitro V. But it I mean, it looks like a good knife. Yeah, it, it looks okay, but I wouldn't get the Micarta version. I would not get the Micarta version either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, their Micarta just feels like paper a lot of the time, like paper mic. And I've had paper Micarta that's actually good. This is like linen Micarta that feels like bad paper Micarta. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it's got like a sticky, like resiny feel to it. Right. Like, I if, when I first felt it, I thought it was nice micarta. Uh, this is back a couple of years ago, and then I've held much nicer micarta, and I realized this is not nice micarta. <laughs> yep, I had the riffle with micarta, and I thought it was just gross. But I was like, you know what? It'll break in, and then it just got worse and worse the more I carried it. So I just dyed it blue and was over with it. <laughs> but. I mean, this knife, um, budget button locks are all the all the thing. Uh, button locks are cool. I like button locks. I might get one of these to test it out, but yeah, it just looks like so much that they make. Everything looks like this from Civivi. We everything looks like this. Yeah, like semi rectangular handle with a drop point. Exactly, exactly. And that drop point looks like it came right off the beacon. Yeah. Like Probably. the fuller everything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Is there a send cut that looks like this too? Um, I actually have a send cut knife around here somewhere. Yeah. Same handle. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Exactly the same handle. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is lacking in originality over there. Yeah. But you know, looks like a good knife. Not much else to say. <laughs> Pry bar. <That's> interesting. <laughs> um, honestly, it reminds me of a fingernail, like an acrylic nail. Yeah, that someone painted. Yeah, it does. That that painted. That, yeah. <laughs> um, do you use pry bars? Not very much. I carry them every once in a while, but I don't use them very much. I I don't really use them either. No. <laughs> I just have no no real need to use a pry bar. Right. I mean, you work in a paint shop, though. You don't use it on the on the, the paint lids. No, we have paint can openers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you have a tool that does that job specifically. What was that you said? 
I'm just saying, I mean, you know, if you have a tool specifically designated for the job, yeah, it's what you use. Exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, if you're a pry bar person, this is probably pretty cool. I'm just not really a pry bar person, so. I think it's really small though, isn't it? It looks really small. I can't remember seeing anyone talk about this and I probably zoned out the video by that point. <laughs> it I like saw the, somebody's video had it, but they didn't zoom in on it or anything. They talked about it for a second or two, but it was just in their hand and I didn't really get to see it much. So I, I don't yeah, know I mean, how big it is. It looks keychain size. It might be a cool little accessory, um, but I mean, it's not something that I'm super interested in. Maybe a lefty EDC could uh, tape a couple of these to his thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of that awful blue. <laughs> If Lefty sees this video, um, I hope he I hope he agrees to that. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great idea. <laughs> Just bribe our fingers. <laughs> oh man, putting super glue on them, he could just super glue that to his finger. <laughs> that's right. That's yeah. right. And then he'll never have to worry about damaging his thumb again. Uh, exactly. <laughs> It's already okay. painted a pretty color. <laughs> fashion. Fashion. I'm sure you can get them in more than just purple. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. We just really like purple here. <laughs> Everything's purple. They're all just purple. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's all the Civivis on there, but we're going to go over to Blade HQ and look at some of the new arrivals. <laughs> new arrivals <laughs> new arrivals um and we've talked about some of these off screen a little bit let's pull up this one just real quick uh because there's not much to say here behold yes <laughs> i don't like, really like look at this at all <laughs> i mean drop point three inch edc knife with a button lock. Is this not the same shape? I know the handle's a little bit different on the butt, but is that not exactly the same as everything else that we just saw? <laughs> pretty much, actually. Uh, maybe maybe shorter, but yeah, pretty much yeah. exactly the same as everything ever. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we were talking on the video we made for your channel about how we themselves made a mistake. They made a community post on YouTube where they, they, they put pictures up of the Altus telling people to go and buy the subjugator. <laughs> I just thought that was hilarious because they look almost identical. <laughs> so, I mean, we're not the only ones that are saying no. that everything they, they make looks the same because they say. Can we Skype with uh, Seth on here? <laughs> you know what? Let's reach out to Seth on Instagram, get him on here, and we'll, we'll ask him what he thinks. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, uh, moving on. Uh, I mean, we have a new Dogma. I like the Dogma. I had one. Uh, it was the knife, though, that kind of made me realize that Civivi's decent kind of sucks. Yeah. <laughs> like what a lot of people say. Um, yeah. This all black one looks really good. I like the clip point blade. I'm a sucker for buoys. That reminds me a lot of the Ortis, which I really like. I like the Ortis. Right. And mine has actually a really nice detent for flipper from Civivi. <laughs> My Ortis had a surprisingly good detent too. I do like the Ortis. In fact, if we're being honest, I probably like the looks of the Dogma better, but the Ortis is probably a better knife. Yeah. It's, it's really a really expensive knife. either. No, it's one of the cheaper Civivis, especially nowadays. In fact, this Dogma here, forty-seven seventy-five. that's a good price from Civivi nowadays. Yeah. Did they switch the blade steel on that, I wonder, to Nitro V? Uh, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see D2. here okay D2. okay so we kept that's it d2 okay. yeah interesting that's pretty good for 48 dollars yeah that's not bad actually that's good value that's probably one of the better values i've seen from Civivi in the past two years or so and it's a good size too it is a good size it's a full-size knife yeah i like the dogma i do like the dogma uh detent on mine is a little bit light but this one looks this one looks fantastic. I have one of the copper ones. Okay. How's the reverse flick on that? 
The reverse flick is great, as you might expect. Yeah. <laughs> the reverse flick is good. Um, the hole can be a little bit high to get to, but it's yeah. not bad. And then the knocks. Um, this is a knife that I have zero interest in. This is their steel frame lock. Okay. So is that G10? Yeah, G10 on it. Okay. Yeah, now I have a G10 scale. Nitro V. <laughs> Nitro V. <blah. laughs> I, I don't care about this knife at all. I just no, don't it's care. very boring looking. It is very boring looking. It. I saw lefty uh, EDC. Uh, in fact, the, on the time of recording this, he posted his review of the Perth or perf or whatever it is that's basically this exact same knife yeah and it the, the detent sucked and stuff so i'm just not even gonna bother um <laughs> we'll get to that one here in a second <laughs> the lumi this is one that i actually uh am interested in they have a 14 c28n which is awesome yeah uh this came out last year right yeah yeah i like mine yeah you have one yeah, I did. I had one. You had one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a little small, but it was pretty nice. Right. That's the only reason I haven't gotten one yet is just because I don't really feel like I have much use for it. No. So, but I mean, Justin Lundquist designs always kind of speak to me. Ugh. Ugh. I just saw that clip. Yuck. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do they do this? They can only afford to make one clip. <laughs> Unless it comes to the baby banter. They made it. That's right. Clip. That's right. They should put that clip on everything, even if it still said banter on it. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> I don't know. I just, gosh, I hate Savivi's clip. And it, on this knife here, that just looks like a disaster. Yeah. <sighs> it's too big of a clip. Way too big. Yeah. But Lumi looks good. Uh, I just don't really have much use for one, so I'm probably not going to get one. No. And here okay. we go. <laughs> here we go. We, you and I have talked about this knife on Instagram probably more than any other knife ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't show the blade still yet. Yeah, we're this, not going to show the blade still yet. This price, $220. This They must have, like, Magna Cut on this. Exactly, Magna Cut. When I first saw this knife, without seeing the uh, price, I wanted one. Yes, this was amazing. I loved the look of this design. Exactly. Yeah. The point buoy. Uh, let's go to the sheath. The sheath even looked good. Yeah. I mean, it's a leather sheath. Not the fanciest thing out there, but I mean, it looks it looks all right. Yeah. And then the price was revealed, and it's T2 steel. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> yeah. And you were telling me that the handle is integral. Yeah. So it's a G10 integral handle. I mean, let's see what they have on the description here. Named for the Teton Ridge in the Rocky Mountains, the Savivi Teton Tickler fixed blade knife is sure to tickle your fancy. Uh, uh, where does it? The smooth black G10 handle provi provides a comfortable hold as you cut through the back country. Okay, so it doesn't even say anything about the handle. No. They, they said, I think it was on Instagram, they mentioned it once, that it was just one piece of G10. I really but, wish that Blade HQ had, like, the Amazon View in 360 yeah. features, like, because I want to see what the, the backside of that handle looks like. <laughs> yeah, because if, if it's going to put the price up that much, they have one piece of G10, just put two <laughs> slides of G10 on it. <laughs> well, and okay. dollars off that. <laughs> Two hundred and twenty dollars for D two G ten and nickel silver bolsters, which you can get nickel silver on a rough rider. <laughs> yes. So, if the integral handle really, I'm trying to think what this knife could be priced at. Like I was expecting this knife to be like seventy bucks. Yeah, hundred at the most. Hundred at the most. You know, leather sheet. Yeah, hundred to seven, seventy to hundred bucks. Yeah. Did that handle really add one hundred and twenty dollars onto the knife? <laughs> they must have. I don't know. 
<sighs> and they say handcrafted on it too. Handcrafted. And maybe, maybe you know what? I'll get an opportunity to handle this knife one day, and I'll be like, oh my gosh, this should be this should be like a thousand dollars. It's the greatest knife ever. But from just right now, I it makes me sick. <laughs> like <laughs> I wanted this knife so bad, and now. I don't want to look at it. <laughs> it's such like, a disappointment. No. <laughs> disappointment. Emotional I damage. Or, I, be, <laughs> I bet you it's really comfortable in hand. I bet it is. I mean, it looks like it's a great design. It looks like a fantastic user. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I actually think this would have been a good knife for Nitro V. Yeah. Nitro to me seems like more of a fixed point steel. And also, not that the brand makes much difference, but if they had to put we on this instead, that probably would have made more sense price wise too. Exactly. Yeah. Well, and you know, we were talking about the sheath. The sheath to me at first looked good, but now knowing that this is a two hundred twenty dollar knife, the sheath looks like crap. It's like somebody just sewed it together. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, yeah. Ah. Here's two pieces of leather. Let's just sew it together real quick and slap it on here. <laughs> exactly. I just... At least it's real, though. This makes sense. At least it, if it's real leather. Hopefully it's real leather. But at least it's leather. For this price, it better be leather from a freaking unicorn. I mean, <laughs> it better be good, good stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it makes me mad. Yeah. It makes me mad. <laughs> I, I, I've sworn off Civivi for this year, pretty much. I've wanted to focus on other brands. And yeah. then they release this really awesome fixed blade that's just my style. And I was like, okay, fine, Civivi. I'll buy it. And then they do this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think they did that to get even with you. It, they did it just, just, talk about just to get at me. <laughs> Gosh. Vengeful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just, gosh, this is something that I th that, that keeps me up at night. I will wake up in a cold sweat and I'll be like, "This is VVT Tom Tickler. It's two hundred twenty dollars. Uh, what is wrong with the world?" <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it is handcrafted. Maybe they have master smiths putting these together at their factory, forging the blades. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, like if they had like a, say they had a limited run of 50 of these knives because they were actually made by hand, then I could see that price. But, but I yeah. highly doubt that this is like fully 100% handmade knife. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah for sure. It, uh, it doesn't even really look that handmade. No. <laughs> Like, I just want to be mean to this knife. I just want to be mean to it. <laughs> it's lucky it's so expensive, because otherwise you'd buy one, and you'd be extremely mean to it. <laughs> exactly. You know what? We were talking about getting Seth on here. I'm going to call up Seth. and be like, hey, send me one of those Teton Ticklers. I've got a bone to pick. <laughs> and he'll be like, who are you? <laughs> uh, I don't Ah, jeez. There's really nothing else to say. This is just a travesty. Yeah. Absolute travesty. Yeah. But, you know, there's only people watching the video who I already know, you know, are going to say, well, you can't say anything until you get it in hand, which I guess is fair, but I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know enough of the market that we know, like, what things should be priced at for materials. Yeah. So, you know, this is a little disappointing. <laughs> well, you know, here's something. Actually, speaking of G10 integral handles. Oh, by the way, they came out with a new Civivi Elementum Tonto Blade HQ exclusive. Nice. You know, that. <laughs> <laughs> it's there, whatever. Um, let's see, what was the... the um, yeah, this one. So this is also an integral G10 handle folding knife with 20 CV blade steel in the Wii lineup <laughs> that costs 
costs less than the tickler. <laughs> well, and it's there would I don't I'm not a knife maker, but I would assume that there's a lot more work involved with milling out and like this G10 for a folding knife more so than just sticking a tang of a fixed blade into the G10. You know what exactly. I mean? Yeah. Exactly. Like it's like there's they got to put is this a liner lock? Yeah, yeah. this was a liner lock. Yeah. So they mill that all in, get all that. Like it's there's a lot more work involved with this than there would be with the Teton tickler. That's what I'm maybe they call it a tickler just because they're trying to uh you know tickle our funny bone with oh look how how expensive this is. Are you still gonna buy it? <laughs> this is just oh, their test is. to see what people are willing to spend on their knives. <laughs> exactly. They're like, okay, let's see how much we can make people just bend over for us. <laughs> Here's two hundred and twenty dollars for a VV. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> well, it's even more expensive up here in Canada. Oh, I think uh, even even above the just the basic uh, conversion of currency, I, it's well over three hundred dollars up here in Canada. Like that's crazy. Gosh. Like you can get handmade, USA made, and actual custom fixed blades for less than that. Gosh. Well, heck, you just got a custom knife a little bit ago. Yeah. Uh, the little friction folder. Yeah. I'd rather buy 150 of those <laughs> than the T-Dot Tickler. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah. No, that's just ridiculous. It is ridiculous. But, I mean, I guess... I guess they're going to do it to us. So, it exists. We have yeah. to find a way to deal with that in our own, in our own terms. Everyone has to deal with that your way but i don't like it i don't like no. it at all no well we like it but we don't like the price you, you, we like it just don't like the price yeah exactly exactly yeah. but i think that's where we're going to close it off here I and mean, we talk about everything i think we said everything that needs to be said <laughs> i think so <laughs> plus a little bit more yeah <laughs> but yeah thanks for coming on this was fun oh well, thanks for having me Absolutely. We're going to do this again. Oh, yeah, for sure. Many times. We'll be, we'll be more used to it. Exactly. Now we've got the kinks worked out. Yeah. Now we've the kinks worked yeah. out. It'll be good. Yeah. But, yeah. Alrighty. That's going to be it, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out Sharpen Blades' channel. I'll leave a link in the description. And that's going to be it. Adios. Adios, amigos. <laughs> uh, Canada. <laughs>